and WPTV is protecting paradise and covering the environmental issues that matter to you. Right now, there's an unconventional trend moving across the state to find the disease crippling Florida citrus trees. Dogs are now being used for their keen sense of smell to hunt this catastrophic and costly problem before it spreads. WPTV News Channel 5's Jay Kashmir recently spent some time in a Fort Pierce citrus grove where canines may hold the answer to saving a billion dollar industry. It still blows my mind that the fact that they are able to do this. Tyler Meck and his canine Tanya are on the verge of something big and they're just getting started with plenty of practice. All day long, every day. The pair has been together for several weeks now, training to find citrus greening, which has wiped out 70% of Florida's citrus industry. In 2003, 2004, Citrus production in the state of Florida was about 243 million boxes. Last year it was about 70 million boxes. Much like finding drugs or explosives, the dogs begin in a room with a target in a box, then advance to a field like this, filled with squash and watermelon plants. And then you're hiding like an infected plant among 50 or 100 uninfected plants. Big shell game until the dog learns that it can pick it up. Tanya works lightning fast until she traces a scent of disease. Inhaling deeply, she snaps back, sitting in a position. Good girl, Tanya. Good girl. A hit was made. She got the plant right. Woo! Good girl! Jay Cashmere, WPTV News Channel 5. It takes roughly six months to get a dog fully trained, and so far, 30 dogs have been certified. Yeah, most are the Belgian Malinois breed, and more will be deployed as greening has spread to parts of Texas and also California.